In this video I'm going to show you the best way that I have found to filter out spam messages. Now it's not going to filter out every single spam message that comes through to you but you will see by watching this video that it does work. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Gmail on our computers and I'm going to show you the best way that I have found to try and stop this issue from happening. So go ahead and load up Gmail. Now what I will say is that Gmail does a really good job at filtering those emails and putting it into the spam folder in the first place which is really good and there is a button that you can hit that will allow you. I'll show you now just by going into my spam folder. So go in here and open that up and you will notice at the top that there is a button to delete all spam messages now. So if you can ignore the messages that are coming through to the spam folder then all you have to do is just delete them by hitting one of the buttons. Now if you want to try and filter those messages I'm going to show you a way. Now so I've clicked on one of the spam emails here and I'm going to tap on the three dots and what I'm going to do is filter messages like this. Now if I take out the first bit of this email I can create a filter straight away or what I can do is hit the search button and I'm going to broaden the search so that it looks in the spam email so it's only picking up one email from this email address but if you filter messages like this then you'll find that that particular email address will no longer come through. Now that can be a long winded way of trying to sort out this issue but what I found is by finding a unique search term like this one, if we hit the three dots in the top right hand corner and hit filter messages like this, I know just by going through my spam filter that hello world is probably going to bring up more emails. So I've hit the jackpot by finding this search term. So what we're going to do is go in to one of the spam emails, tap on the three dots and filter messages like this. So we'll take out the end part of the email, create a filter and then we're going to delete it. So automatically that will in future go into the deleted folder. Now I found another example here. So Erica Weinberg, if I search for that, it brings up a few different emails. Now watch what happens when I filter messages like this and then use the end part of the email address. So I'm just going to take out the first part of the email address which is the name and I'm going to hit the search and broaden the search. So you see that it only brought up one email address yet I do have a lot of email emails from Erica Weinberg. So I'm going to create a filter just use the Erica Weinberg and automatically delete it. So you'll see that I've been doing this from Friday and I'm now in the bin section of my Gmail and it has picked up a lot of the spam messages which will then throw it into the deleted folder now. So all I have to do is empty the bin and hit the OK button and that is basically it. I know that you'll still get spam emails coming through but hopefully this technique that I've used will filter out a lot of those spam emails. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Until next time, thank you for watching. Peace.